everyone, it's me again. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my shiny chariot jacket top thingy. Um, I'm really not sure what the heck this thing is, but I'm going to show you how I made it. Before I get into that video though, I would like to make a teeny tiny announcement. I'm really sorry if this is annoying or comes off as um, annoying. <laughs> Uh, I have made a Kofi coffee Kofi thing that will be linked in all the descriptions of my videos now. Um, so that's a thing now that exists um, on my Instagram. I know it's just a small little thing, but I have listed tiny little rewards for if you do donate to co to my Kofi, and depending on how many you donate. Um, so you can go check that out on my Instagram, and I'll also leave my Kofi description in the or my Kofi link in the description of my videos. I feel like everyone knows this, but I have to make the disclaimer that you are in no way obligated to donate to my Kofi. Um, you know, I just, your views, the likes, the comments, just you subscribing, liking my pictures, that enough is truly amazing to me and I really appreciate every single one of you guys so much. But if you do want to throw in a little extra, this is a thing. Um, I will be using 100% of any Kofi money I get for just cosplay and sewing or just fabric. So um, yes, I just want to make the announcement and let's get into the video now. So I'm starting off with something simple. This doesn't have anything to do with the coat, but I already had this material at home. So I thought I would start with this. Um, here I am just tracing out the shape of her little... Um, buckle on her cape at the top um, onto thicker craft foam that I purchased at Michael's. I made a uh, stencil out of paper and then I'm tracing it here onto the craft foam and then later I will sand it down, prime it, and paint it gold. So here it is, it's starting to come together. I picked up more materials yesterday. I picked up these things yesterday for my shiny sh shiny chariot, chariot cosplay. <laughs> so these I have all painted the same now to match um, the same color because they were uh, different colors of like metal. Uh, these are for her cape um, and they're just thick craft foam that I have painted. I haven't fully painted the backs just because you're not going to see this part so I was like meh, why bother. I have some buttons that I am going to paint over to paint with clear nail polish over top because I am that picky about that and I wanted them to be shiny and they're not. I have some bra straps um, or just clear straps that I'm going to use for the center since it's like an open chest look and we don't want any mishaps happening. I have some bra cups that I'm going to use um, again because I can't wear a bra with this cosplay and we're not going braless so I brought some, have some bra cups. I have some nice white fabric that I'm going to use for, um, it feels like a polyester cotton mix and I'm going to be using that for her main white bit of the cosplay. I have some interfacing that I'm going to use for certain parts of the cosplay. A receipt. And I have this really pretty, um, shiny, pretty fabric that I'm going to use for the lining because I did notice that her outfit, her main part of her outfit is aligned with like purple material and I thought that if it was like a satin shiny material it would look really pretty and like Majestic. I'm really excited to work on this cosplay because it's gonna be super chill and I have lots of time to work on it and perfect on it. Perfect on it. Perfect it. So yeah, but here it is, some progress. Now I'm gonna go paint these buttons. I just realized I'm missing two buttons. I need two more for the boots. For hopefully I can go back and there'll be more there. I'll probably be making another trip down to the city anyways, but that's super frustrating. What the heck? Okay, the buttons are drying and I also painted these little things at the same time 
with clear nail polish and I'm hoping that it'll dry fine because this is foam and this is plastic so obviously it's different materials but here they are I got some shiny buttons now woohoo to tell you the truth I'm super uneasy on how I'm gonna go about doing this and I'm planning to include interfacing here interfacing here um, just anywhere where two where it has really sharp edges and interfacing on these things especially because I they're not gonna stick out but like I want them to be kind of pointy looking so um, yeah I keep putting it off though because I'm nervous <laughs> Alrighty, so this is all I can do for now because I have to head off to work, but this monstrosity is coming along. I think I'm almost done having like a very rough block pattern done. Um, I've kind of drawn on where I want the seams to be um, and how this flows. Made out of paper there. Um, this part here is going to be closed, but I had to just cut it open for the sake of um, getting it on and off. So yeah, that's pretty much where it is right now, and I will work more on this later. So this is what I have so far on the dress form. These are my two or three pieces of pattern to cut out, that I've cut out, and obviously I'm just going to like replicate it on the other side, so I'm, I haven't bothered to do like the other side. Um, so I was mentioning on my Instagram story that it looks good. The only part I'm worried about is that these two pieces aren't coming together properly at the side. But I'm thinking that because it's um, a bit more of like a harder paper, um, a wrapping paper, it's um, not flowing properly. And you know, that's like the small of the way. So there's some curves going on and it's not having any of that at the moment. So that's what I'm thinking but aside from that it's looking good I'm gonna start with these two pieces and then work from there um, here you probably saw in the earlier clip um, are the pattern pieces that I made um, I extended them going downwards it's just um, paper uh, plastic wrap and painters tape so here's one piece another piece and another piece that I cut out and I trace onto this stuff. I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut it on the fabric. Ah, okay, so fingers crossed, let's do this. So now that the outer fabric is cut, before I go ahead and cut the lining, I just pinned it to my dress form to see roughly how it looked and um, if I had the right shape.
Alrighty, now that my lining is cut and my outer fabric is cut, I am now starting to sew together the um, outer layer of the jacket. Now here I am having a brain fart and looking at the design for a good 20 minutes. Alrighty, and now here I am cutting out the interfacing for just parts of my cosplay. Although I ran into a big issue with this later on, because the white I used for the outer um, material of my jacket was quite sheer, um, you could see where the interfacing started and ended on some parts, so I later had to just like it completely ignored that and add interfacing everywhere else anyways. Um, I even tried buying lighter interfacing but you could still see it so I just had to put that interfacing throughout the entire costume except the sleeves. So um, yeah, uh, note to self, if anyone's gonna do this, you're gonna see the interfacing. So I forgot to film me sewing together the lining and the um, outer material so this is kind of a little bit confusing but basically I have sewn together the lining and the uh, jacket material separately and now I am pinning them together to sew together um, but leaving an opening uh, near the back so I can flip it inside out later. So the lining is sewn into the jacket, I flipped it inside out, I've ironed it down, and now I am top stitching um, as close as I can to the edge of the jacket just to give it a more crisper look and um, sharper finish. I, um, as you can see, I have left the armholes um, open so I am able to slip the uh, bra pads into the um, top and I'm just adding a few stitches in various places as discreet as I can possibly do it to hold them in place. Alrighty everyone, good morning. Excuse the bad lighting because it's pretty gray and rainy outside and excuse me because I'm in my pajamas. This is how I sew 99.999% of the time. So here it is. Um, I did a lot of work on this off camera because I was feeling very discouraged last night. I wasn't in the best of moods so I just didn't really feel like filming. I really apologize for that. But here it is. Um, it definitely could be a little cleaner in some areas along the sides, but overall I don't think I did too bad of a job. Here's the back. Uh, it's a zipper that comes undone all the way or else I wouldn't be able to get it up or get it on. Um, I'm really proud of these bits here and these bits at the front, even though you won't be able to see this bit, these, the back, because she wears a cape. Um, I haven't fully sewn in the little bra pads that I bought. Um, I've sewn in the buttons here and I also attached the lining which I think looks really nice how it kind of comes down and kind of almost curves in a little bit at the sides. Um, it looks really funky and I think the purple is like a perfect like um, you know, I don't know starry night kind of witchy kind of color but it's still really cute and obviously the lining goes all the way on the inside as well and um, here I'll zoom in for you guys or I'll not zoom in but I'll move the camera closer I don't know if you can see but here I also attached two clear 
um, bands just to hold everything together. I also included, um, <clears throat> this was an after decision, um, I included uh, like bias tape all starting from here, going all the way down, here, 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 and back up again because it had this like weird ripply effect and it just didn't look that good. So I felt like it needed something a bit more sturdy to stop it from rippling and it definitely helped a lot. There still is a little bit and I need to iron it more but I just think that I can't escape it fully. Today I'm going to work on doing the sleeves. So please ignore my super messy ironing board. But so today gonna start on the sleeves and here's what I have in my brain for the sleeves. So obviously she's got this weird open armpit thing going on and um, so it only connects at the top here. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard in that area. But what, I'm what I want at least is I want it to be kind of tighter up until the elbow and then it kind of flares out a bit more um, at the bottom and as you can see it has that like little curve look going on here and when I was looking at the reference pictures for some reason it looked like they were see there were seams on the front and the back of the sleeves that all met underneath so which I think is the reason for this like scalloped um, look to it so what I'm planning to do for the sleeves is almost make like one long um, you can see here I drew one long like triangle piece at the bottom and then have the rest um, coming up at the top So this is what I had in my mind, in my brain, is, so yeah, this is the top part of the sleeve, and this, I don't know if you want to use a ruler, please, I always think I can freehand it, and then comes a little curve here, and then it meets at a point underneath. I don't know why I saw pictures like that, but that how it be, and to be honest, it makes the design a little bit more interesting. Plus, you know, <laughs> I like to make my life difficult, and then I'm going to have to line this as well, but I don't think I'm going to include any interfacing unless I run into color issues again, because the white is such a bench to work with, because if I don't include interfacing, it looks like different fabrics, because one is so much darker than the other.
my picks are going to be so free in this cosplay, I really am still questioning what they were thinking, but who am I? the ends of the sleeves and I'm just trimming the edges so that the curve at the end of the sleeve is more smooth um, and less bulky from um, excess seam allowance and then I'm ironing it and then in a later clip you will see me top stitching like I did along the edge of the jacket. So just to show you guys what I did, because I did this off camera um, while my camera was charging, I, so this is like the good end of the sleeve and this is the like armpit end of the sleeve. Um, on the armpit end of the sleeve, I folded the seams inward and sewed along on just the underarm of it because for this costume, just just this part here is attached to the cosplay while the rest of this just hangs down. Um, so I left this part raw, but um, yeah. So now I'm gonna attach my sleeves to my cosplay. <clears throat> so, ooh, I'm stepping on stuff. I wasn't sure if I should finish this off first and then do the sleeve or do the sleeve first and then finish this off and what I've decided is that I'm going to attach the sleeves first and then yeah and then I'm going to finish off the uh, um, bra edges here. So this is what I meant by finishing the like armhole of the sleeve that isn't really the sleeve. Um, I kind of folded the lining and the outer fabric in within itself and then top stitched along the edge so it creates a clean finish. For the inside here of the, where the lining meets the lining, I just um, hand stitched it uh, using a herringbone stitch um, so you don't see it on the other side and it keeps the lining intact. So yeah, did it on this side too. 
I started using white thread by accident. I was too lazy to switch it out. So, and all it needs now is a, a good iron and this baby is done. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's finally done. Here it is in all of its glory. I'll insert some pictures of me wearing it in a short video I took on my Instagram because I forgot to film with this camera while I wore it. It's finally done. Overall, I am pretty happy with this. Um, I took a lot of time on this to make sure that it was fairly clean and um, I really thought it out a lot. Um, it's definitely one of the most interesting pieces I've made, especially with the armpit holes going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.